Hello everyone. Welcome to this brief presentation on solar panel installation and design options. I'm Mohammad Sharuk, working as a BIM specialist at Micro Center Gulf Kingdom of Bahrain. In this presentation, I'll be showing you the different methods and design techniques which we are using at here at Micro Center before installing any solar panel at any specific location or site. So let's discuss what is the importance of having a proper placement and orientation of solar panel. The placement and orientation of solar panel is just as important as which type of solar panel is used in a given situation. A solar panel will harness the most power when the sun rays hit its surface perpendicularly. The efficiency of the solar storage system depends on a crucial factor that can drastically affect how much energy is absorbed into a solar storage device. This factor is called orientation or the placement, direction and angle of solar panels. So the first factor which affects the solar efficiency is the direction. So we need to decide where is the site located, whether it is in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. So in our case, we will consider our site is located at northern hemisphere. So in northern hemisphere, the general rule for solar panel placement is that it should face towards always to the true south. And if in case your site is located in the southern hemisphere, then it should always face towards the true north. The reason being, this is the best direction because solar panels will receive direct light throughout the day. The second factor is the tilt angle selection. The angle or tilt of a solar panel is also an important consideration. The angle that a solar panel should be set at to produce the most energy in a given area is determined by the geographical latitude. A general rule for optimal annual energy production is to set the solar panel tilt angle equal to the geographical latitude. For example, if the location of the site of the solar panel or solar array is at a 50 degree latitude, then the optimal angle is also should be 50 degree. Essentially, the closer a solar panel is located to the equator, the more the panel should be pointing towards straight up. The closer the panel is to the poles, they should tilting towards the equator. So let's see what is the optimal panel tilt angle and orientation for Bahrain. As we know, the geographical location coordinates for Bahrain is around latitude 26 degree and longitude 50 degree. That's why the optimal tilt angle for the solar panel should be equal to 26 degree, while the ideal azimuth angle, it should be equal to zero degree with the south orientation. But sometimes, due to the specific location characteristics, it is not always possible to follow and apply the above rules. So in such cases, we can follow the below rules for the northern hemisphere. The tilt angle should be in the range between 0 degree to 50 degree. The azimuth angle should not be more than 70 degree by the south direction. So whatever is the combination we are going to use, it is applied that the final solar panel efficiency should not less than 90% of the maximum one. So let's see what are the different solar panel installation methods being used in Bahrain. So for installation over the roof, we are using some this, uh, this kind of designs. As you can see here, the solar panel has been installed over the roof and it is built tilted towards the true north. Sorry, towards the true south. Let's see some of the solar panel solution over the car parking. So these are some of the different methods which we can use to cover the solar uh, car parking area with the solar panels. So as we know, recently Aluminium Bahrain or Alba Bahrain, they launched a solar farm project and they invited a bit for a five megawatt solar farm project. So basically it's a five megawatt project having solar panels covering a surface area of approximately 37,000 square meter, which is uh, spread over the operational areas and the car parking region. So uh, here at Micro Center, currently we are working to provide different design options uh, to install these solar panels over this specific mentioned region. Now to design and do the solar analysis, we are using some advanced softwares like Autodescribe. 
so what i will do uh, next is i'll show you the different design options which we have uh, made for the car parking region and le let's see like what are the benefits and what is some of the disadvantage or advantage for each of this design option so this is the actual site for the car parking region for aluminium bahrain so uh, what i will do next is uh, i will take you to the revit software and i'll show you like how we did the 3d modeling for this particular region and then how we converted it into a different uh, design uh, options for to install the uh, solar panels so this is the interface for uh, revit architecture now here you can see this is the actual structure which we have uh, modeled it with actual dimensions so in our first design what we have done is we remove this canopy structure and then we on this tilt tilted side or on both the left side and the right side we added the solar panels so let me go back and show you the, our first design so this is one of our uh, design option now what is the uh, problem with this particular design is let's take uh, let me show you the our solar analysis so consider for example the sun is right now rising at around seven o'clock so it is in the month of january now the sun started to rise so let's suppose it went to for example nine o'clock so once it is at nine o'clock you can see the intensity of the sun is currently is bit more here and it's very less on the other side now when it reaches to around 12 o'clock now the intensity of the sun is coming in both the directions equally now once it started the sun started to set on the west side so let's suppose it's become now three o'clock now you now you will notice that during 3 p.m the intensity is high on one side and it's very less on the other side and as we go to the let's suppose four o'clock then the intensity drastically re reduces on the other side so this is one of the issue with our design one so let me go and show you our design two so this is the our design two now in design two what we have followed is the orientation the tilt orient as you can see this is the north direction this is the south here is the east and here is the west now here in this design what we have done we remove the canopy structure and then we added some of the uh, structure to bear the load of this solar panel and the orientation of this solar panel is directly towards the south and it is tilted at an angle of 26 degree now if you remember in my previous slide which i have mentioned uh, Bahrain is located at an uh, latitude of 26 degrees so this is the optimal incline, incline angle or the tilt angle for the solar panel inclination now let's see what is the benefit and, and what is the dis what are the disadvantage with this, this design so let me go back to against to the solar analysis and let's suppose it, the sun is rising at six o'clock so now you can see six o'clock it's a bit dark so let's suppose it's go to eight o'clock now so now you can see the intensity is almost coming equally on all the panels now let's go to 12 o'clock again it's the same the same intensity has been received by all the panels here and around three o'clock you will notice that still the intensity is there is some intensity over the all the panels so one advantage we have of the tilt is if you notice here during when it is at 12 o'clock and during let's suppose it is in the month of january so here you see the angle of attack or angle of uh, the uh, sunlight is uh, directly almost perpendicular to this particular uh, panels which uh, is not possible in our previous design so let's go to the previous design if i show you you can see it like let's suppose if it is around 12 o'clock so you see here the tilt angle is very less there is uh, almost no tilt towards the south uh, direction so that's why uh, the intensity will be very much less during the january month so let's come back to the design number two so the advantage we have with the 26 degree tilt is we are getting a very high intensity during the month of january now 
the another issue we face is with the shadow or the shade now if you if i if i told you uh, there is, there are a lot of car parks are present here so if there is a second car park present at this specific region then what is going to happen the shade of this solar panel will be directly affecting the second or the adjacent uh, solar panel so if you see at mass the uh, uh, efficiency of the solar panels will reduce so for to come uh, to cope with this uh, design what we did we created a third design in which we uh, we used uh, uh, some this kind of design which i called it as a split design so what we have done instead of creating one full panel uh, having around like uh, 40 panels what we have done is we divided it into four parts now what is the advantage of having this is the first thing you will see okay let's let me switch on the sun path and let's take it to january month so let's take it to first january let me compare both the designs so this is first january for design number three and let's go to design two and then again first january and let's take it at 12 o'clock and let me shift the sun at 12 o'clock for this also now here you will notice the shade will be directly is going to reduce a lot for the second parking area you can see here the shade is coming very uh, the shadow is very at a very small distance whereas in this case it's going to be inclined it's going to be a lot now what is the advantage so as i mentioned you before also let's suppose the sun is rising at eight o'clock okay let me take it back to january and let's suppose it is six o'clock so now the sun is not been uh, risen yet so what we can do is let's suppose if it is at around nine o'clock so now you can see the intensity of the sun is coming equally on all the uh, panels now if i go to 12 o'clock here also you will uh, you will find that the in the direction of the sun is almost perpendicular to the solar panels and during the noon uh, during the evening time like around four o'clock or let's take it like around three o'clock you can see still it's they are receiving all the panels are receiving the solar intensity so this is in the month of january let's suppose if it is in the month of june then what happen is you see the sun will be directly overhead to all the solar panels and you can see at 12 noon so during june to july the uh, solar panels will be able to produce maximum efficiency so as per our design like uh, this we found that this design is the most optimal design now what i will do is uh, there is a way we can do solar analysis for each of our design so let me take you to uh, uh, this uh, small videos So in this first video, it will show you the solar analysis and the, you can see the shadow effect which is coming starting from the sunrise to the sunset. And here you can see the intensity in different region. So right now it is like around 11 o'clock. Both the sides are receiving the equal intensity. Now you will start noticing after three o'clock, this side is getting very less shade. So this is the problem with this particular design. Now let me take you to the second design. So which I have mentioned you. So in this particular design, you can see right now it is eight o'clock and all the solar panels, they are equally intensified.
so one of the disadvantage of having this particular design is the solar the sun shade which is going to come to the next parking will be too much on the other solar panel so it in if you see in mass uh, this kind of design will be uh, very less efficient so you can see it around till 4:30 it is receiving some intensity so now let me take you to the our final design or what we have thought to be more uh, economical so now in this particular design as i told you all the panels they are tilted at an angle of 26 degree and we have split them so that their total height does not uh, reach too high and it doesn't affect the second panel as from their solar shade now you can see around 12 o'clock it is very high so and just remember that the month we are doing the solar analysis is january so during january the uh, the sun is very low height so at that moment we are getting a very high intensity so this design is as per our analysis it's a perfect design now you can see if you remember in the other designs after uh, 430 the intensity is very less but in this case you can see the intensity is coming a lot Five o'clock, still the intensity is high, and five thirty is still the intensity is there. So that's how, like, in the, with this particular design, we can start doing the, uh, we can start getting the power, like starting from around like seven o'clock, and then till it reaches till around five thirty. so this is how uh, in micro center we are designing and doing the analysis for our solar panel system so i hope you enjoyed this brief presentation and got some insight on our work for solar panel design and installation thank you very much